Hello and welcome to another video. So in this demo, we're just going to look at rule files in City Engine very quickly. And at this stage, we're not going to make our own. We're not going to do any coding or programming yet. We're just going to use some of the standard ones that exist within the software. OK, so you'll notice on the screen that all of my buildings are flat um, 2D shapes, apart from this one, which is 3D. And it's got some textures on the outside and it's got some roofs. OK, so we're probably never going to get our area to look perfect just using these standard rule files however uh, very quickly we can start to make it look 3d perhaps we can get the buildings to look slightly like the ones in the area so the way i've done this is the esri.lib folder which will sit within your um, workspace that you've created so i've got my own project folder but above that i've got esri.lib or the esri library as i like to call it Inside there, I've got a load of assets and then I've got some rules. And this just comes uh, with the software. When you make a new workspace, uh, it is created. If yours is out of date, you can um, press file and go to manage esri.lib uh, and update that to the latest version. Um, but there we go. So inside here then, for all different types of data, I've got different rule files. Again, these are just standard ones. We can change some of the settings and I'll show you that in a second. So in order to apply this one, I've selected this building. And I've just clicked on uh, building from OpenStreetMap, dragged it on. When it went orange, I let go. And that was good. Uh, I could select more than one building. And then there's a few other build buttons up here. So here we've got a, an assign rule file button. I could select that and navigate to the rule that way. Um, and I think and I can also do it through shapes. There's pretty much three ways to do anything in C Engine. So there we go. Uh, once I've applied that, then I've got a lot of settings I can click through. So it will sort of come in with this default style. It will just look like a white box. I can change the height um, pretty much like I would in Arc Pro. I can change different heights. I can change the style or I can go through some of these default styles. I've got medium towns, small towns, villages, New York. OK, so as I say, you're never going to get the building looking 100 percent perfect like this. Perhaps you won't get it looking 50 percent perfect, but you'll get sort of a rough idea for your different AOI. And then later on, we can go and do the more advanced things. We could either write our own rule file uh, using CGA, so the, the language that these rules are written in, or we'll do some polygonal modeling. We'll cover both of those. You can do that to all of the different uh, feature types in here. So we can this is buildings, but we can do the same for roads and vegetation. So I'll quickly show you those and when we'll move on. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next.